We're reading several Gorn ships on our sensors as well as the USS Zhang Ha. The Zhang Ha is hailing us now. Welcome to Edrin 4. I'm Bridget McKinnon, CO of the USS Zhang Ha. Glad you could join us. My science teams are on site and conducting initial surveys. Apparently, this place is quite the geological marvel. We're not the only ones present, though. Our friends from the Gorn hegemony are terribly chatty, but so far they're keeping the peace. Well, I'm sure my people wouldn't mind an extra hand down there on the geological marvel. Feel free to join the party. Transporter room to bridge. The geological team, supplies, and gear are ready to beam down to Edrin 4. Lowering shields for transport. I'm detecting some unusual energy signatures in orbital space near Edrin 4. Recommend we perform a deep scan of each. They could be hazardous. teams indicate that they have made it to the surface and make contact with the science team from the Shangha. The rest of the landing party is standing by in transporter room one. They're ready to beam down when you are. There you are. Better late than never, huh? Ensign Scavron, Starfleet Corps of Engineers. Lovely planet we've got here. Charming, even, if you're fond of heat and rocks. Still, it's not a complete wash. You can find mission objectives on your mini- My tricorder's showing some interesting mineral formations beyond this ridge. This looks like a good place to start our scans.
Nice to see a report was spot on for once. The mineral deposits here are remarkably pure. This carbon deposit is unusually pure. Apparently, the Metrons don't prepare half-rate planets. Whoever gets the mineral rights to this planet will be pleased. Very pleased indeed. My readings indicate there might be dilithium on this planet. I'll need to take more scans to be sure. The variety of minerals in the topsoil alone is astounding. The soil here has a high concentration of salt. Either my tripod is broken, the soil here has an amazingly high... ourselves and our shields are up which means we can't beam you back to the ship over there there might be a way out of this infernal canyon further down the valley We need a way out of this canyon, and I'm thinking that big rock up there is it. With a little Federation ingenuity, we can topple this rock with a makeshift bomb. What's it's... Have you read Captain Kirk's report on this place? We have all the materials we need here to make bombs. They won't be pretty like me. Behind us!
Let's take these materials over to the bottom of that huge rock. Right. Ensign Hunter and I will construct the bombs we need to bring down this rock across the canyon. That's the easy part. It's up to you to keep those angry Gorn off us while we- Well, at least the Gorn are punctual. Keep them off us! <laughs> Crush that coal up good, Hunter! Not like that! Finer! Careful with that! Potassium nitrate can react explosively with these materials! Now mix it with the coal! Carefully! I'd rather not get blown to pieces today, if you don't mind! We're just about done! Let's get these bombs in place! Well, now that Ensign Hunter and I did the hard work, it's time for you to pull your weight around here. You need to place these charges under the rock. Spread them out, though not too far. I'm sure you can figure out an optimal placement. Bombs are primed to blow. We should move to a safe distance. is nature, man loses. Well, take that, nature. Absolutely. We should be able to climb that rock just fine. It's steep. I hope the scientists are all right. The Gorn aren't known for their mercy. Looks like some Gorn came through here. We better hurry.
Thank you. Things were looking pretty grim there for a moment. The Gorn. They kept saying the deaths of their people would be avenged, but we didn't do anything. I haven't fired a phaser since the Academy. Looks like the Gorn have exercised the better part of valor, Captain. But the Zhang Ha's in rough shape. Captain McKinnon is hailing us now. Good to hear from you. Thank you for saving my people. We're making repairs, but it'll be some time before our engines are back online. signatures on our long-range sensors here. You can fire all weapons at once by pressing the space bar. Thanks for covering us. The Gorn would have made short work of my ship otherwise. I owe you one. 
Slow, but steady. Our warp drive is still disabled, but we're making progress. Thanks. I hate to ask, but something's bothering me. We picked up strange energy reading. Sending it now. I... aren't as tough as a Tellarite design. But our scaly friends know a thing or two about how not with the data we have now. But the science team just found enough elements of weapons great plasma sir i know who did this it's the romulans i'll shave my eyebrows if i'm wrong it's the romulans i'm sure of it there's more bad news the it's the same ship as before doesn't look like they're back at full strength though this space equally, Federation. Your unprovoked act of aggression against our research vessel tells me otherwise. I see no Romulans, only Federation ships. Most convenient, Captain. But I am a- Captain, I've got an idea. If we can generate a-
Fought Federation. The hegemony will remember the Romulan treachery today and your assistance in exposing it. I. So there was another player on the field. Nice work out there, Captain. We'll be heading for the closest starbase soon, but we'll be back to finish our work here. All decks have reported in. We're ready to disembark on your order. Most missions can be turned in remotely. Click the icon next Good to, to the mission from you. to report to I've the contact Captain McKinnon's and turn report. in the mission. Sounds like things got a little rough on Edrin 4. Still, the Diplomatic Corps thinks your actions will make a difference in future talks with the Gorn. Well done. Stay Congratulations, safe. Lieutenant. Starfleet hasn't heard from Deep Space Station K-13 in a while. It's in a tactically sensitive part of the Quadrant, and the Brass is getting concerned. Get out there, find out what you can, and render assistance if needed. And hey, be careful, okay? This could go sideways, fast. Stay safe out there. You are now in sector space. Here ships travel at warp speed between systems.
We've arrived near Deep Space K-13, Captain. This is odd. I'm not picking up any comm traffic. No signals, nothing at all from K-13 or the other ships in system. Sensors aren't detecting enemy vessels or warp signatures. No signs of combat either. This is peculiar. Ships are raising shields and charging weapons. Warning. Ship is under attack. Disabled, Captain. Captain, those were the Starfleet ships assigned to patrol this sector. I don't think that was a war game or training sim. They're what? Stay away! They'll, they're taking control! Don't come near us! They'll take you too! Message from Starfleet Command, Captain. We're to investigate the situation immediately.
No signs of combat on board the station, Captain. No hostile life form. Sensors are picking up a number of life signs over... I don't like this. No one's at their duty stations. Not even the transporter operator. Station's not on alert. What's happening? Tricorder's picking up a life sign nearby. Those blast points on the wall are from phaser fire. There was a fight here. But with whom? The lights have all been dimmed, but it looks like sick is still operation. Over to the right. Captain, I think I saw motion Stop in where that you room are to the left. And turn about slowly. I need to determine if you are infected. Neuroparasites. A life form last encountered by the crew of the Enterprise at Deneva Colony. Those possessed by the creatures tend to engage to met. And while you have not engaged in hostilities thus far, I have seen infected employ false passivity in order to lure unwary. Scans show a slightly elevated level of adrenaline, though nowhere near that of an infected life form. Thank you for your patience. One can never be too cautious. They are a life form that propagates by infiltrating the nervous system of a host creature. Through this neural link, they can compel their host to obey their... According to Starfleet data files, the parasites can be safely destroyed by exposure to high intensity. As a precaution, I have developed a serum that can render a person toxic to the creatures. However, medical supplies here are limited. I have enough serum to... Now there's a voice I wasn't expecting. I take it you heard my distress call then. Well, in case you haven't noticed, the station's been overrun by neural parasites. Ah, uh, I'm afraid not. I'm in the auxiliary control room, down on the engineering deck. The place is filthy with parasites, so you'll understand if I don't go out for a wee jaunt. I have secured a small amount of security gear. It may give you... Equip your bridge officers by selecting them, then double-click an item in your inventory to have them equip it. If we pass through the mess hall, we can access a turbo lift to reach engineering. Whenever you are ready. These crew members, they're all infected by the parasites. Be careful. continue to be resistant to tricorder scans, sir. It may be...
The auxiliary control station is down the hall to our right. I'm reading a single human life form within the room. The bio signs match those of Commander Scott in the Starfleet Medical Database. Someone must have raised the security field to cut off the auxiliary engineering section from the rest of this deck. Hi there. It's good uh, to see you, Wendy. I was beginning to get a bit concerned. Thought you might have been taken by- While I cannot attest to the ability of UV light to- Aye, she's a Vulcan, all right. I was trying- Equip a kit to gain new ground combat abilities. Aye, this is one of the broken relays, right here. That one was easy. Just a few more to go. All right, there are several ways through the engineering section here. Keep in mind that the parasites tend to stay in... Remember, the parasites like the dark. We devils that they are. Fixed up straight away. That takes care of that. No trouble at all. Odds of success are greatest if we remain in well-lit areas. This may be a bit tricky. Just a wee bit.
Uh, this one just needs new fuses. It looks like someone has overridden the command codes. You best get to the command center and see what you can do from there. I'll stay here, barricade the door, and keep trying to get those UV lights going. Look! Who are those soldiers? They're definitely not starving. They're dying. All of them. Salvage what you can and send a squad to kill the Federation vermin. Actually, the name's Daniels. This may be a little difficult to absorb, but recent events may make it more plausible. I'm actually from the future. I can't tell you how far, just that it's a future worth protecting. That's why I'm here now. The aliens we're fighting are called the Nakul, and they're waging a temporal cold war with us. They're trying to change the timeline here in order to disrupt the future. Understand that I follow a temporal version of the Prime Directive. There's only so much I can reveal to you. Trust that we're doing the right thing here. Time's a factor. We need to stop the Nakul from obtaining the neural parasites. The Nakul ship that brought these invaders is now fighting the USS Ptolemy. Someone must have sent a distress call. Unfortunately, Ptolemy is no match for the Nakul. We can return to the ship on your orders. Ptolemy is holding the Nakul off while we rescue the other ships, but they won't last long. K-13 is hailing us, Captain. I'm transferring command codes to you now. Use them to remotely access the computer on those disabled ships and emit an ultraviolet flash inside. This is Captain Seralt with the Ptolemy. We have engaged the enemy ship, but we are outmatched. Please restore those ships and join the fight quickly. Captain Tordium, the USS Myrmidon. What? 
What happened? Parasites? Work, Captain. You sent those devils back to wherever they came from. Aye, uh, we do have a wee problem, however. The burst I sent, when combined with the power source. Scott here. The portal's collapsing. We're in for a right bumpy ride. Everyone's aboard. Get us clear before that portal blows. There's doors. I don't think anyone's ever seen a station do that. Perhaps not. After all, it was a temporal vortex. They may well then, it's been quite a day, hasn't it? Neural parasites. Time traveling readers. Why, things will seem almost normal once I'm back on the Enterprise. Speaking of, I'm sure one of the ships here can give me a lift back to her now that they're parasite free. If Starfleet Command gives you any grief on this, remind them that lives are more of I apologize for springing all of this on you at the last minute. And I'll explain more as soon as I can. For now, I can tell you that history is unfolding as it should, and that was not the end of K-13. You're building a fine tradition of making the right decisions in crisis situations. In the meantime, don't talk to anyone about- System scans clear, Captain. Let me get this straight. K-13, an entire space station, just disappeared into some type of spatial anomaly? <laughs> and I thought some of Kirk's after-action reports were a little out there. Starfleet Command won't be pleased with the lost... Congratulations, Stay Lieutenant. We have a problem at Babel. Caridian rebels have taken several Federation trade officials hostage. They're threatening to kill them unless the UFP withdraws from the Corridan sector. I'd like you to work with the negotiation team and try to resolve this peacefully. <laughs> 